Hello, 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 hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. I am Brady White, your host. Welcome. I hope that you will enjoy the episodes I have chosen. So, let us sit back, relax, and enjoy. Well, they are starting the procession of Our Lady of Grace, the icon, uh, Santa Maria della Grazia in Italian. And every year, the icon, the painting of Our Lady of Grace goes down to the town of San Giovanni. They just finished a mass installing the new superior, who is Padre Francesco Langi. And he is the new superior, Padre Carlo, the former superior. He now will be with the prayer group of Padre Pio around the world. Okay, so you hear the music, and now what's happened is here the icon has just been brought out into the piazza. Here's the band, the San Giovanni Rotondo band. And this will start, this will go right down to the town. And as I say, ooh, the icon will be there for 10 days. At the end, a big, big procession. And here you go here. We'll start to see the beginning here. And even the little boy dressed as one of the padres. There's the group from San Giovanni Rotondo. Have the Padres and the religious walking first. Padre Carlo is walking. Padre Antonio. The icon goes by now. And the band follows. up just a little bit down the street. Every year we see this. This is our Franco who will be the driver of the uh, image of Our Lady of Grace. Uh, they are loading the icon onto the, uh, the truck that is always used. The van will be behind. We are warming up. The flowers now go on to the truck. And then it will make its way down the Alley Cappuccini will just stand here and you can see the new superior Francesco Langi. Uh, Luigi Bravino is there uh, next to him. Padre Carlo is there, Padre Mariano. Well, now the procession has uh, started down the Alley Cappuccini and the people walk. You see the little sister, the little child dressed as the nun. And there they are there every year. Hello, and these are the young people again working and walking down the street. And they're with the group of the Pache Beni. Beautiful, beautiful, the, the members of the, um, the prayer groups here in San Giovanni Rotondo. There's Stella, see? Yeah, see? And this goes, this is quite a big group, but when we see 10 days from now, it is a huge crowd. Practically most of the town comes back up the Alley Cappuccino and then it ends with a blessing and then the fireworks and the people here again every year they come. And now they're starting the rosary. They're saying the Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
they start the Hail Mary, Ave O Maria, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The cross goes by. There he is, my brother. He is right there. Padre Carlo, the former superior, today his first day, relieved of the position of superior. Padre Mariano is there, and now the religious follow. These are the seminarians. They are in Campobasso, there's Pietro. And there you have this Carlos and his wife, and there's the new superior, Padre Francesco Langi. And they are just in front now of Teleradio Padre Pio, the new superior again going by, the icon there. They are finishing the first decade of the rosary. Our Lady of Grace, pray for us. St. Pio, pray for us. Uh, we are further down on the Alla Cappuccini, and we are just about mm, a little bit past the halfway mark into the town, and you hear the church bells. This is the Church of St. Francis, and Padre Gregorio is the pastor there, and all the street of Cappuccini, of the Alla Cappuccini, the, yes, the road of uh, the Capuchin, is all closed off to traffic, and this is what we see right here, the car, the police car with the flashing lights stopping all traffic from going up or down until after the procession passes through. Well, I hope you can see this on the uh, balconies here. Whenever there is a procession with the Madonna going by or the statue of Padre Peel later in the year, uh, the people here hang out their most beautiful tablecloths or their sheets, their linen sheets. And here on the very top, you see there's uh, the candles, uh, they are lit, uh, there's a few white and some red, and then they hang a beautiful cloth just below it, and then underneath that where the lady, I think you can maybe see the image of a person, uh, she has a beautiful, uh, looks like uh, kind of satiny and lace, uh, very beautiful, and this happens every time there is a procession uh, through San Giovanni Rotondo for Our Lady, um, Our Blessed Mother, and also when Padre Pio, uh, the feast day comes and the statue comes in and around the town. Well, we are actually in the old town of San Giovanni Rotondo, and Rotondo meaning round, it has a wall around it, and here you see on these beautiful small streets, and again you see a beautiful linen hanging from the balcony here. So, we have arrived at the Chiesa Madre, that is the Mother Church. This is where the icon of Our Lady of Grace will be placed for the nine days. And this is unusual. Usually it comes right through the main street of the Old Town, but they're using uh, the side street, which is really part of the original San Giovanni Rotondo. This is the first time in the ten years that I have been here that I have seen uh, this street being used for this procession. And remember, the reason that it, the icon is here is because during the war, when the communists were confiscating the friaries, the convents, the religious um, houses, the parish here in San Giovanni, the pastor, went to the Capuchin friars who had the icon of Our Lady of Grace. And they, the pastor said to the superior there at the time, if you give us the icon of Our Lady of the Grace, we will protect her, and after the war we will return it. So the superior at the convento, the friary of Santa Maria della Grazia, gave the icon to the pastor here at the Chiesa Madre, and when the war ended, <laughs> the superior from the friary came right down and asked for it to be brought back. And he said, as long as we can have her for 10 days every year, on this, uh, at this time, the 30th of, uh, 31st of August, we will hand her over. And they did, 
and that's why it's always a big feast day. She's just about ready to arrive. And here, now, Our Lady arrives. They remove the icon of Our Lady of Grace off the truck and they will bring her into the church of the Chiesa Madre, the Mother Church. The people are jammed inside the church already. They've stopped everyone from going in. And then as the evening goes on, the people leave. More and more people continue to go and visit through the entire evening. tell you that the icon itself, uh, the painting is not that heavy. Once it gets put into the case and the beautiful holder, it becomes very heavy. And there she goes, she enters into the Mother Church here in the town of San Giovanni Rotondo. I will say a prayer for you in front of the icon this evening. I think I'm going to try and make it to the rosary, the torchlight rosary tonight. I've got about a half an hour to get back up to the, the friary. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Let us not forget our brothers and sisters during this time. Let us pray now the prayer that Padre Pio loved so very much, the Hail Mary. Let us remember as we offer this Hail Mary for all of you who are watching, hello from San Giovanni Rotondo, for those you are thinking of, for those that are close in your heart, for those who are alone and have no one to remember them, for those who are involved in disasters and war throughout the world, for the unborn, for peace in this world, for the Holy Father, for his intentions, for all the priests and clergy, religious and missionaries, that they may have the strength to continue God's work. For all our family, our friends, and our enemies, for all those who are suffering in the homes, the hospitals, and the jails. For all those who have died, our loved ones, for all the souls in purgatory, that they may rest in peace. For all your intentions, please join me in the Hail Mary. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Grace, pray for us. St. Pio, pray for us. Now remember, you can email us at PadrePioInfo at AOL.com. Again, Padre Pio Info at AOL.com. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs>